Alrighty, welcome to another great recipe from your Manitoba Pork Grilling Guide. Now we're doing beer brined rib chops. Beer brined Brody. Yes. It just seemed like an obvious way to go. We're talking beer, we bring in Brody. Thanks for being here, Brody Jackson. Gonna help me with this recipe. You can tell you one thing, Michael Adam is uh, gonna be a little bit upset <laughs> when I came here on Beer Brine Day. There it is, it's Beer Brine Day with Brody. Love that. Uh, we're gonna start off with rib chops. Don't, can you smell how great they Unbelievable. smell? Unbelievable. Yeah, they're great. And these are the uh, the pork chop, the bone in, the loin close to the shoulders, what we're gonna use. They're really good chops. A bit of marbling in here, which marbling often means more flavor. So that's what we've used today. You can talk to your butcher uh, to get them cut this thick too. Yeah, because we were half. looking at the size of that. Like, look at how yeah. nice that is. They're gorgeous. So you learned a little bit about brining, didn't you, Brody? I did learn about brining today. Now, brining is basically the, uh, the essence of, of putting your meat into a salt water bath. Mm. I think I brined last night myself, actually. <laughs> that's, not, that's not possible. <laughs> that's a whole other thing. Uh, if you want to learn about brining, you can check out the brining basics, the video you'll find on this website. This is our pre-made brine. Tell us what's in it, Brody. It pretty much adds a lot of flavor to it. Now, uh, the basics that you can get everywhere and anywhere. Like we start with water. Then we move to my favorite, dark beer. Dark beer in this bad boy. This is like a man's diet right here. Uh, then you got pancake syrup or maple syrup, whichever you choose. Again, delicious. Garlic, brown sugar, uh, coarse salt, and black pepper. So anything that you can find in the house. So if you're going camping, if you just want to fire up the grill outside the camper, this is something you can totally do. A mere matter of minutes combining everything together. It's really easy to do and again, uh, we need to immerse the meat completely. That saves you when you get to grill time. You don't have to turn it quite as often when you get the meat fully immersed. Again, all those details are available when you check out Brining Basics right here on this website. Just check out that video and then you are good to go and we need to let this sit in the refrigerator and then we are headed out to the grill. Yeah, I love grits. Party, party, party. <laughs> We have moved outdoors in this beautiful Manitoba summer with our beer brined rib chops. And what we did, okay, so they sat in the brining eight to 24 hours for the chops. Then what you wanna do, you drain the brine and you don't reuse it, you don't keep it, you throw it away. That's really important, you don't wanna do that. Then you wanna rinse the chops uh, to get off any of the excess salt and pat them dry. That's all really important before you get to the grill. We've got ours on the grill, Brody. Yeah, we're, they're firing up right now, and the key is to, uh, I know as as a, as a dude, yes. I like to fire up the grill as high as it can possibly go and no, put flames, and you're really? like, yeah! Do men like that? That's <laughs> really? weird. But we're <laughs> weird how we I got know. Die. But actually, the key is to put it on medium heat. That way you're not going to burn these bad boys, and be patient with it, and that way you can cook it. Now, you're wanting to do pretty much uh, 8 to 10 minutes aside of it, and what you're doing here is you flip it up. As you can see, they're looking nice and pretty much ready to flip right now. Okay. And don't forget what I said about that brine, Brody. Even though it has beer in it, you have to get rid of it. <laughs> and I'm thinking about Just licking the top of the, the pork brine. chop right now. <laughs> well, that's, maybe wait till we're done here. And then, <laughs> that could be on yours. So. And another thing too, if you ever want to get grill marks, you want to make it look fancy, you can actually flip it every single time, 90 degree angles. So when you flip it, you flip it back, you can get nice yeah, right. line cross grill marks. Looks fancy. That's another course, reason I didn't why do that this time. you want to rinse it and pat it dry so those grill marks can't show up. Better. and it just looks fun. Is it fun? It is very fun. And another key to is while you're barbecuing, when they're pretty much done, tell everyone that it'll be another five minutes, they go inside and you can snack for a little while <laughs> while they're in there and just pick <laughs> at it. They have no idea and you're pretty much full. That's not them. really part of the recipe actually. <laughs> That's not really it. That's just the key to life. Beer brine, rib chops. You ready to take them off? They're ready to they go. They smell good. That's all you need to do. Smells delightful. And I think once you try brining, you're going to be really hooked because you want to talk flavor and moisture. You won't believe how good it is and how easy it is, which we just showed you here. All part of the Manitoba Pork Grilling Guide. Lots of great recipes at manitobapork.com. Hungry? I am. Let's what are you going to have? <laughs> yeah, you're about to find out. <laughs> Enjoy.